Okay. We see about getting the game up and running here. Oh, you know what? Actually, I want the good overlay. That good shit. So off stream, I did some uh, some scrounging around for certain things, and I actually unlocked a couple of characters along the way. Oh, do we want to be you? I don't know. I'm kind of a bit liking being the robot. I got to be the robot at least once on stream. He's adorable. Not as adorable as the one from Spelunky 2, but it'll do for now. I actually find it kind of funny just how much cuter the robot is in Spelunky 2 versus Spelunky 1. So today's goal is that we are going to try and take a key all the way from the start of the mines to the tunnel man who is waiting for us in... I forget what exactly the uh, the place is called, like, the place just before hell. The temple, yeah, I'm gonna call it the temple. This is looking kind of bad, just right here. Oh, it's looking very bad. Oh, it's terrible. This poor dog. But he makes an excellent projectile, I guess. Especially since he actually doesn't bounce back on you. This is probably the best projectile in the game. In a very warped kind of way. We'll see what's over here, if anything. Nothing. Good, good, good. Not too good, but I don't know. I'll take nothing over something terrible happening. Bye, doggy. You lived a long and fruitful life, I hope. He's a full-grown dog. Not like he's a puppy or anything. I do like the pitcher's mitt, I have to admit. Because I like throwing actually straight. Even if it's, like, a relatively little upgrade overall. Oh my. Oh, if we set that off... I don't know. I'm getting more and more okay with pissing off the, uh... The shopkeepers. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, just before pissing off the shopkeeper. Yeah, we actually threaded that needle quite a bit. Uh, I guess I'll waste a bomb here. Don't blow up the dog! What if we should name the dog? I'd like to do that as a group activity, honestly. Really? Whatever, it doesn't matter. So we are on the lookout for the key. We miss it, then it was all for naught. Unless we beat the game. Which we probably won't, because I kind of suck. Yeah, there's actually no point in taking the chest if we intend for the key to be used for something else anyway.
Because the same key that unlocks the chest is what we need to unlock further into the game. Or another shortcut, rather. I don't like this at all. See, I feel like that just shouldn't happen. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could have... I could have used a rope there, obviously, but... I don't know, it feels wrong if I'm, like, forced to use the rope. Okay, doggo, you stay here for a little bit. Bring around the rosy pocket full of posies. Posies are gold. Solid gold posies. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. There's rats in the game? So every level has uh, some background elements that you can see, but you don't really interact with. So like in the ice level, there's penguins and you can't kill them. You can't interact with them. You can't carry them. They're just there for flavor. I... <laughs> you know what? If I can... throw this just right, I want to try and... set off that arrow trap for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Yes! <laughs> just, just for my own amusement. So yeah, this is Spelunky HD. Uh, there is Spelunky and there is Spelunky HD. Spelunky came out and it was only on PC as far as I know. And it was using like pixel graphics. This is Spelunky HD. This came out first on Xbox Live Arcade and it's available on Steam and honestly like everything now except maybe Switch. And it's gonna get even funner considering Spelunky 2 is on the way. Very, very close to coming out. In fact, it comes out tomorrow on PS4. <laughs> I love it. Armed for bear. Nope. Don't want to know your business. No ifs, ands, or buts. All spiders die. Didn't have explosive crates either. Yeah, there's all kinds of interesting little uh, differences between them. I've never played the original Spelunky, so I couldn't tell you all of the differences myself. But the, uh, the thing about it is that there are just a truckload of differences in between Spelunky and Spelunky HD. In fact, I've heard some people far prefer the original Spelunky to Spelunky HD, just because of the differences and just being used to those differences. Like, I was on 4chan just looking at everybody's thoughts on Spelunky 2 for some reason. And they were talking about how uh, spiders were far harder to actually kill in Spelunky 1. The original Spelunky versus Spelunky HD. Whereas sp sp spiders in Spelunky HD are pretty easy. And they also talked about how, like, 
The Damsel is actually playable in the original Spelunky, and Tunnel Man is playable in the original Spelunky, but not Spelunky HD, at least without mods. The shotgun exploding in your sh in your hands every time you got it? That is an interesting mechanic for the shotgun to have. So unfortunately, I didn't grab the key that I wanted to grab. What I'm working on right now is that I'm trying to get all the shortcuts open. Because what you can do is you can make some shortcuts in the game so that you can go to the different zones whenever you want, or like it, try and get to the, uh... Ooh, boy. Come on. Get speared. Please get speared. I ain't moving. <laughs> there we go. Monkey! Hmm, I wonder if there's any way that we can get to the dog. I don't think so. I think this is kind of kaput for this level. Onward and forward. Mobile port from itch.io can be considered the original. I haven't seen. I have not seen. All of my, uh, my know-how is for the most part for with Spelunky HD. Because I like playing games on Steam, and Spelunky HD is on Steam, and Spelunky is not, so... Hmm... So I haven't had a shotgun to kill the Queen Bee, so I'm curious to see... if I can kill the Queen Bee easily or not. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Huh. I wonder what that does exactly. I hate the bees, I hate the bees, I hate how they fly, like, all around. It's never not terrifying. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, I have eight health now. Okay. I'm assuming that I got that from that queen, the, uh, the sap from the queen bee. No bombs, unfortunately, so I can't free doggo there. It's unofficial in a port of the PC game. Interesting. Damn it. How on earth? Once he got my shotgun away from me, this was going to be a pretty unwinnable fight. Woe is me. Damn, I was liking our gear there, too. Having the cape and the shotgun all together is great for early game. Gotta get better at killing the shopkeepers. Gotta get better. But it's hard. It's tough.
damn it. <laughs> that would work that way. Ooh. All right, doggo, come to me. The key cannot actually spawn in the first level, so I am not too worried about it. Got annoyed with the game and stopped playing a while ago. The RNG was terrible. I can't speak to uh, Spelunky, but Spelunky HD, I feel like the RNG is decently okay, especially since like, oh my good lord. There's a lot of times that I'll think that there was nothing that I could have done. And then I'll learn later on that there were mechanics that I didn't know about that make it like better. Damn it, man! Finally! Yeah, the big spider, depending on the situation that you find it in, you can kill it pretty easily. Sticky bombs are a good way, if you already have sticky bombs. Throwing a bomb in the web is just very straightforward and a surefire way of achieving victory as it stands. I usually just... Just throwing a bomb in the web is the best way. Uh, I should be wasting my ropes. I want to see about finding the dog. I have no idea where the dog went in this level. Did happen to the dog. Oh my god, already? We must away. Sometimes I feel like if you catch it in the right generation and the right situation, you can just jump on the big spider. You gotta jump on it a lot, it's like eight to ten times to kill it. But it is doable, in the right circumstance. Obviously, if there's any chance of like the big spider getting one up on you, it's just not worth doing. But if it's like in a pit, then you could totally do it that way. I'm still learning about the game myself. Mostly just waiting out until uh, Splunky 2 comes out. That's a real thing that I'm waiting for. I should leave this shotgun up here. Surprised the doggo is still alive. Curious to see where he is, actually. Damn it. Hmm. Ah, the key's here. God, there's a lot to consider here. Him. 
That's a rope, unfortunately. But that's okay. I am gonna have to choose between the shotgun and the key, unfortunately. Because I want to get that shortcut open, but... Oh, I don't feel like this run is going to go very far. Especially if I don't take the shotgun, so I'm taking the shotgun. Oh, God! <laughs> Tunnel guy has an unbreakable medlock. What, you mean playing as him? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, wait. Okay, that is not exactly gonna work out. God damn it! I want to sacrifice the dang thing. This is gonna piss off Callie, unfortunately, but I have no idea if I care about that or not. Oh, good lord! Not that bad. Come on. We still have a shopkeeper to kill. Think about this. Get every shortcut in every challenge room. Interesting. I'm working on it. I don't know. Fuck! Why did I miss? He was right in front of me! Oh, he jumped over all the bullets! Like he was in the Matrix! Okay, this time we're going to try a key run. I should have done that. This is what I should have done. Only a chest, unfortunately, but I'm already here, so I may as well get it. Yeah, like I was saying before, I think I cut myself off. Um, I'm thinking about getting all the achievements and, well, not all the achievements, but I'm thinking about getting all the characters, but Splunky 2 is so close to coming out that I might just save a lot of, you know, grinding for Splunky 2. It looks like it's going to be like a better experience in every single way. More characters, more mechanics, better mechanics. More unique generation, better graphics, it's just looking really cool. The reason why I'm playing this right now is because Splunky 2 is not out! But I'm still hyped that it's coming out, so I'm playing this right now to just quite, kind of quell my fear, quell my taste. And also, I've really just never given this, like, too much of a fair shot. I've gone to this game, got annoyed by this game, and then gone away. And that's been a lot of my time with Splunky up until now. Last few days, I've been giving it a really good run and getting very familiar with it and getting familiar with all the mechanics. I'm liking it more and more, honestly. I'm liking it more and more the more I play it. Oh, it was in Spelunky Classic. Okay, this is the key. 
This is the key that we want to take all the way to the tunnel. Man, fucking god damn it. That is bullshit RNG right there. I think the only way that is around like something like that is if either A, you carry a pot in front of you or you just go slow. And I don't want to go slow. I want to go fast. Go. The game does not like me right about now. So here's the thing about this. Because if we'd gone from the right side, it would have hopped down and started jumping around. Just kind of force yourself to play it like Dark Souls Remastered in 3. <laughs> I mean... I sort of get what you're saying, but it feels a little bit unfair. Because... Dark Souls and Dark Souls 3 are not very RNG heavy like this game is. They're very designed experiences. They're, they're somewhat hard, especially your first time through them, but they're very designed to be a little bit fair. God, what a terrible run that was. Freaking runner into two arrow traps one after the other just because I couldn't, like, actually do anything about it. I want it. Yes. Because the crates are usually really good. They're either bombs or rope. God damn it. Fuck you. I'm running too much, I think. Which is unfortunate, but I, I want to run. I don't know what to say. I'm a speed kid. Hey, doggo. I do need your health quite a bit. That gold squashed. I've never actually seen that. That was kind of cool to see. Makes sense. God, you got me thinking about Dark Souls 3 now. Freaking love Dark Souls 3. It's my absolute favorite game from that studio. Not favorite game entirely, but favorite game from that studio. I ended up loving Dark Souls 3 way more than any of the other ones. Alrighty then. A machete? We won't be able to carry the machete if we're doing this right. Oh god, I didn't see the spider behind him. The spider behind the spider! Did you see that pro move? It wasn't really intended. It was kind of reflex, honestly. Unfortunately, I only have two freaking health. So all of the traps in Dark Souls, you can see ahead of time. It might not seem like it, but because of the way that they have them usually set up... Let me see if I can do this in a pro way. I couldn't quite get the pro way going, but we can still get this going. We got a few bombs that we can work with here. Uh, fuck it. I'm not feeling good about this run either. Uh, 
I'll still see it through. Don't you worry about that. But I'm just not really feeling too terribly good about it. I want that shotgun! Ah! My bloodlust. I must quell it. Basically getting bottlenecked into a pit of spikes by a giant spider. Yeah. Splunky's a little bit unfair. No doubt about it. I want that dog! Fuck it. Need health. Want health. side of the key. <laughs> I don't know. I go back and forth, honestly, with how unfair I feel that uh, Splunky is. Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of unfairness in any game that's procedurally generated enough. But I feel like the generation usually works out. And there's a lot that you can do in this game that you don't immediately know about. Like, a lot. Like, I didn't know that I could, like, whip arrows out of the air in front of an arrow trap. So even if you're out of resources... You can still defuse arrow traps that way. Like that. Uh, fuck you, spider. Yeah, I'm very scared looking at that arrow trap. <laughs> ah, damn it, I missed the key again. Oh well. We'll just treat this as a normal run then. Probably piss off some uh, shopkeepers at this point. Now there's a lot less uh, to worry about in that frame of mind. I want out of here. God. I hate them! God, I hate their movement pattern. Uh, that cells I kind of bounced off of. I enjoyed my time well enough with it, but I was just not liking the gameplay enough to uh, where I did bounce off of it. 
Hmm. Okay, what about... Okay, we ended up with a net positive. I don't think that there's any... I don't know. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me. But we did end up with mostly, like, a net positive there, so that's the good part. I don't like this. There we go. Okay, it's not even there. Good, good, good. Dog, at least. Wish we could have gotten more. I wish there was a shop here. Come on. Down we go. Dead Cells is very much a roguelike where... It very highly depends on the equipment that you get along the way. If you just don't get, like, good equipment, then you're just not gonna win. Like, that is the RNG I feel that was inherent with Dead Cells when I played it. Because it wouldn't be so much my skill, so much as what I had. That's the thing that I like about Spelunky and uh, Downwell, is that they are roguelikes where you don't unlock things. Because once you have the ability to unlock things, developers want to make that stuff cool. But at the same time, it feels like unless you unlock that stuff, you're not going to have great runs. And that feels crappy. Oh, God. Really, that's the way that works. I just lost my goddamn torch. What, because it impacted? This sucks. Oh, there we go. Okay. Enough playing around. Come on. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Don't like dark levels. Don't like dark levels. I don't feel like it murders replayability for me personally, because for me personally, the uh, the replayability is getting better and better at the game. I very thoroughly don't like uh, unlocks and roguelikes to the point to where I really despised a lot of the time that I spent with something like uh... oh, don't oh, it's not even worth it. I don't care. Well, this looks bad. I 
guess. Oh, the web's disappear! Oh my god, the web gun is the worst freaking thing in this game. I was thinking about, like, trapping the freaking shopkeeper until I saw that. Webs that disappear. Goody. What a great gun. You are in a bad place, doggo, let me say. You're lucky that you are a health giver. Because Downwell and Spelunky have no unlocks, but I like playing them over and over again anyway. Especially Downwell. Downwell is great for having no unlocks. Let me see, is that worth, like... That's not worth killing myself over, I think. God damn it. No, no, no. No, no, no! Oh, I'm stuck. There's actually no way out of this. Uh, I knew that was dangerous. I went for it anyway, like an idiot. The most dangerous thing in this game. A stone hopping on a pad. The cycle of hurting will continue, and it shall not stop, young Padawan. Don't ask me why I added young Padawan there. Disney has poisoned my brain. That's the only answer for that. By the way, just to let y'all know, you have me for two more hours. Probably not even gonna go that long, but that is dinner time. I don't even know why I felt like telling you, because I'm probably gonna end the stream before that, but... Just to say. Probably just an excuse for me to look at my watch at the meantime. And by watch, I mean smartphone, because nobody has a watch anymore. What? But... The crate was in the wall! Yeah, I've been kind of... I've been watching, like, a friend stream, uh, Monster Train. I'm not terribly interested in myself. I don't... I think that Hearthstone thoroughly destroyed deck-building games for me. I just have, like, almost no interest at this point in anything deck-building. But also, I just don't find the fun in that kind of game. Monster Train. What was the one before that that everybody was going on about? That Vinny played a lot. It was along the same lines. I do not know about Hell Rushes, whether they were done or not. Wait, the key. I knew it was, uh, I knew I was probably gonna get killed there, but the only reason I'm doing this is for the key. So if I make the mistake of like killing the key, then the run is dead anyway. Slay the Spire, yeah, that was the one that a lot of people were uh, enjoying. And it seems like everybody's gonna jump onto Monster Train now. It's the new thing that is apparently maybe better than Slay the Spire.
Hmm. I want to explore more, but like. It's kind of hard to want to when I really don't see anything. If there's buffering on your side, then uh, that is all you, Levi, unfortunately. Because my internet is looking pretty good right about now. And OBS is telling me no drop frames. You had it too? Hmm. I'm still gonna blame y'all. <laughs> oh, good lord. I wish the spider would have just sacrificed itself there. But that would have been too easy, apparently. Hi. I... I don't know why I did- Oh my god! Damn it, man! Are you kidding me? Okay, wait, wait, wait. We got this, we got this. Just jump to the left. Yes. Oh boy. Okay. I'm regretting sacrificing the doggo at this point. Revealing helps out devs, I'll say that much. Sometimes, anyway. God damn it. Hmm. It would be already spent. Refill. I do appreciate the refill. Uh, there is like not a whole lot I can do here. the key was on the left side. Well, my games I would be, I imagine, are kind of hard to uh, get, like, completely optimized. You're optimizing for, like, a lot of devices that have a lot of different capability. There's the freaking key! I got two health, which is unfortunate. Almost jumped into that arrow trap because I'm a genius.
But Android and iOS devices can be very, very different in their capability. Well, I mean, not different between Android and iOS, but just the fact that, like, all these phones have, like, different system specs. You got phones that are going from, like, a gigabyte of memory to, like, eight. And you got phones that are on, like, old OS's entirely. You still got, like, the iPhone 6 supported in a lot of cases. Oh my god. Is there any chance that I can bypass that? Uh, I'm just taking the key. I don't have high hopes for us here. Oh, the only way I was getting out of that was going forward. Let's just have fun, I guess. No, you're talking about storage. I'm talking about RAM! When I say system specs, storage doesn't matter for system specs. I suppose that was fun. That was like 20 seconds of fun. Uh, I just want to get a good run going. Get the key all the way to the ice caves and beyond. It's hard to get the key out of the mines. The terrible, terrible mines. Tempting. Kind of worth it. I'd rather have more bombs than more arrows. I was about to say arrows, ropes, more ropes, bombs, rope. You got it. Different programs are programmed differently. That's the uh, the whole thing of Delio about that, why a nuclear throne would work. And this one wouldn't. Games are definitely optimized very, very differently. And it depends on what all they're trying to load in all at the same time. And sometimes they're loading it in improperly. And that's just how per game optimization goes. That is... Ugh. I'm gonna try it anyway, because I'm a glutton for punishment. 
Oh god, damn it. Nope, 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 nope. Definitely got blood for punishment. You just had to be in there, didn't you? Let me show you. Aww. <laughs> uh, this run. I could have climbed that entire thing. I could have climbed that entire thing with a climbing glove. I am so not used to the power-ups in Spelunky. Bye, bye, Levi. Thanks for dropping by, yo. Try not to stand up as little time as you can. That was... How did that even work? Because I didn't set that all up, because I went right here. Excellent. Doggo, you are in a terrible place, my friend. Four bombs, no rope. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. Okay. Started out kind of bad, but we're working our way back up. We're not losing any health, and that's the best thing possible. As far as I'm concerned. Wait, is this thing not... Okay. Doggo's on the other side. Do I care? I don't think I care. Oh god! Okay. Never seen him do it twice like that. Okay. This is actually looking like a very, very good, uh, run. Maybe we can actually get the key run going.
Oh. Hmm. We've got bombs to spare, honestly. Just a matter of where exactly I want to bomb it. Okay, take the key first. Very important. There was an exploding toad there, and I never saw him. Fuck it. Oh, man. Bomb at night, that's for sure. I wonder if the uh, the ghost timer gets uh, shorter as you go further into the levels. Okay. So far, so good. Still healthy. Got tons of upgrades. Mmm. Mmm. Plan this slowly and carefully. We're not letting any mistakes happen. Fuck. Well, actually, this is kind of okay. In all honesty. <laughs> Climbing glove is OP. Might be my new favorite power up, honestly. Oh, we got so long to go. It just hits me now just how much like you 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 gotta take this key. How far I've really gotta take it. Is the shopkeeper gonna... Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. That was incredible. Dog friend. Uh, these 
these guys are not looking good at all. Oh boy. Bye, doggo. Would have liked to have gotten one more health, but it's okay. I hate everything, yo. Wherever the key lands, I should be able to make use of it. That is a blind fall. That is a blind ass fall. I'm not at all interested in that business. Fuck. Honestly, oh hey, Doggo's right here. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Oh wow, okay. Well, what you got, man? Okay, not the worst dark level that I've ever seen. Granted, we skipped a lot of it, I think, by bombing our way at the start there. Okay, all we gotta do is get through ice caves. All we gotta do is get through ice caves and we've unlocked the shortcut. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire friggin' life. No. Oh boy. I'm a risk taker. I hate myself for it. Let's just go. Our number one goal is getting the key to the Tunnel Man. That is all that we care about right now. So we should just be speed running our way there. Doing good. We're doing freaking great. Feels like the 4th of July. You're just gonna stick there, aren't you? Oh no, Callie's there. God, where did it land? Oh yes. Oh. Donate the key. Yes. Yes. Oh, ow. Ow. Ooh, ow, my leg is cramped. Uh, nothing else matters. Absolutely nothing. We can die right here. And it wouldn't mean a gosh dang thing.
I've already won. I don't know how I survived that. Damn. <laughs> well, I knew I was basically gonna die. Oh, that feels so good to get off my back. Now we've got all the shortcuts open? Something makes me think there's even a shortcut into like hell, probably. But now that we've got a shortcut in the temple, I can just ram my face into this over and over again. Until we finally beat the game. So the thing about the temple here, oh, I should have just done a quick restart. The thing about the temple is that I need to learn about it. There's a lot of mechanics that I really like don't know just because I've barely ever been here. So a lot of these are just gonna be information-based runs. Or just really silly runs in that case. Oh my god, Lord. I'm not gonna be able to get him to... Yeah. It's about what I expected to happen, honestly. Come here, little friend. Oh boy. So like, can I even cross this? Okay. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Me and my little robot friend will take on the world and survive. We will save the dog in the temple. <laughs> <laughs> I will also use him as bait. Golden door. Definitely not what I'm going to be doing right about now. I do actually know the method of opening that thing. I think. Sort of. I know it's like the golden... Pickaxe. No idea of actually how, how to get the golden pickaxe. No, you get the golden pickaxe by getting the onk and taking that to the ice caves, I think? And going to the golden city? Yeah, I think all that's right. All right, let's see if we can do this. Awesome. Okay, we're out. <laughs> Before he wakes up. All mad and pissed off like. Old Max Lair. So like, okay, I'm, I need to get some more information. Well, I need more resources, I should have said. Well, 
than I really need is I need some bombs when I get here. For sure. Hello? Broke? Damn it. Hmm. Okay, now I might have just killed myself here, unfortunately. I'm gonna give him my best shot to survive, but I think I might have just killed myself. Okay, we're still alive. For the moment. Probably not gonna survive very long at all. Okay, let's see about luring him. This will actually work out really nicely. Okay, it was going to work out really nicely. No! No! I was about to win! I'd actually won! Because I could've, I could've freaking gotten out of there, I think. I had like two ropes left, God! Damn it, man. I think I might leave it there, too. <laughs> if nobody's watching. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad that nobody was around to watch that run. Uh, even if it was just, like, just Temple. But still, that would have been the first time that I'd be in the game. Getting a shortcut, but still the first time we'd be, I'd be in the game. Oh, uh, I'm having fun. All right, that'll be all stream. Uh, see you all next time.